So today at IH Motorhomes we are reviewing the IH 630 S4 with a fixed bed. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I think the first question I'm going to ask you here is, you know, what do you think to the colour? So this is the freeway green, um, it's like a, a mint ice cream green, it's really, really unique, you certainly wouldn't lose it on a campsite, but um, it's a nice glossy paint colour, it's one of the flat colours from Fiat, um, paired with the, the sort of black alloy wheels and the black bumpers and everything, it really does tie all together, especially with the graphics that we've put on the side, these nice matte, matte graphics. Moving inside through your sliding door. We are greeted by the unique feature of the S4 that we do. Um, so this is this lovely four-seater um, dinette area. We've got four travelling seats here. Um, there's quite a few nice features with these four travelling seats and the dinette as well. Um, and what you what you, you what, you, what you've got here is a sliding seat rail. So these two seats can be moved apart um, so you can sit uh, two passengers in comfort um, if it's two children obviously they can be closer together and um, they will accommodate uh, certain car seats and things as well so if it's grandkids or children you're wanting to travel fantastic for that um, so those can be popped back together again to allow a bit more space here in your galley kitchen area of course we've got the Fiat Comfort Swivel seats which turn around 180 degrees and make this a nice living space at the front with the fixed bed at the rear, we've got that massive raised fixed bed at the back. This is what you would use as your living space. Seats are, are, are a really fantastic feature from Fiat, and they are dead simple. Turn around, captain seats, twin armrests on there, so they're really comfortable while you're traveling. They fold up out of the way if you want to use them while you're seated, while you're eating and things like that. And they've got plenty of adjustment in them, turn all the way around, you can slide them backwards and forwards on the runners as well to make it comfortable for you. Um, of course upholstered in the half leather that we do, um, this grey colour scheme has been really popular with our customers, the dark leather with the silver inserts. And while we're here in the front we might as well talk about some of the other features that you find in the front of the, uh, in the Fiat. So based with the automatic climate control we've also got cruise control on here this particular model has got the sat nav on there as well on the stereo so not going to get yourself lost on the longer tours um it's a manual van is this particular one um we do offer this s4 on a automatic base as well but this particular one we've built on the manual um you've got cab blinds as well so when you come to uh, an evening you're getting into living mode you want to have a nice private area for, for to sit and dine or if um if you wanted to close it off so it's nice and dark for sleep we have got the remish blinds on the cab as well which are very easy to operate and they just slide down into place magnetize at the front and give you a perfectly blacked out cab area once you sat in the cab on an evening even if you've got the blinds closed we've got these reading lights which you can see lighting me up over my head something that's quite nice about these is they are just touch sensitive touch the metal rings turns the lights on and off you can sit here quite comfortably with a book um, with a tablet or anything like that and it's easy to see this table does then extend so if you have got four guests you can each have a sort of plate on the table if you wanted just turn the seat fraction and it will seat four people around here you can you can get your plates on there coffee a uh, glass of wine if you prefer and uh, it's, a, it's a lovely lovely space for four people really nice and practical um, plenty of light here plenty of places to store things and uh, the other thing about this is if, if you're not so bothered about having the table it is completely removable as well so we can slide this piece away the leg is then folding just comes up out the way and it unclips and it can be removed entirely so when that's out of the way it's quite a nice social space plenty of leg room for everybody nice to just sit around and talk with everybody it's a, a great space really um what have we got above us here what's what's above so moving into here we've got storage space so the over cab locker which you'll find in all our Fiat models um, tends to be the place where a lot of people store uh, their bedding and things like that because it's, it's a massive space, it's nearly the full width of the van, um, quite deep as well so you can see it's swollen my arm right to the shoulder there. It's a really nice size locker, um, it's got the front on it there as well to stop things falling out while you're in transit and then you've got additional storage around the sides as well so a bit of a smaller locker on the sides but plenty of space in each of those. You'll notice they're both on 
presto open cabinets, same is continued throughout the van, um, but nice and easy, nice and simple to use. You'll notice is although we are inside and it's not a particularly well lit day, there's a lovely amount of ambient light in here. So all these um, LED down lighters that you've got over the top, the ones here are, again are all touch sensitive, so you can have the van lit exactly as you'd like. We've got the um, LED halo lighting over over top so this is all bespoke can build lighting it's all dimmable so turn that on and off to uh, to set the lighting as you want in the van as well next thing kitchen so the s4 with having the four traveling seats it does have a slightly smaller kitchen but it's still perfectly functional um, it's perfect for for those who are wanting to travel on the move you don't have a big bulky microwave or anything like that it's quite simple so we've got a two burner gas hob here so two gas burners and then a little compact sink as well so you can wash all your plates and your cups and everything up in there and um, they can be done separately so if you're not wanting the sink open you can put a little rubber mat or something on there um, to, to use as a chopping board and things like that you've got countertop space here as well which can be used perfectly functional space there underneath which you find is your oven and grill so a little combination um, from Dometic, quite a simple little, um, quite a simple little unit. But for the purposes of this van and the people that we tend to find who, who go for the S4s with the fixed bed, it's 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 perfectly functional. You've got your three-way fridge from um, from Dometic here. So this is three-way will run on a, an electric mains hookup, gas when you're off grid, and battery while the vehicle's engine is running. Um, but again, great setup. Same as what we fit in all our vans and our customers tend to tour for quite a, a period of time. A couple of our customers go away to Europe for three or four months at a time and can be um, absolutely catered for with, with that fridge. Underneath the kitchen and around the kitchen you've obviously got all this storage space as well. You've got storage all the way across either side here which is perfect for your cans of beans and your ready meals, all that sort of thing. More storage that's continued into the galley. So you've got sort of quite a nice deep pantry cupboard there. And then these two here, which would be perfect for all your pots and pans, your, your Brunner plate set if you want to go with something like that, but you've got loads of storage there as well. And that covers off your kitchen really, it's quite a compact space but really functional, um, there's no, no frills here really, it'll get the job done, everything that you want to be able to prepare. I mean you could, you could knock up some really nice meals in here, you don't, you don't need all, all the microwave and everything like that, it's quite a, a nice simple functional space. Into the bathroom, again, lovely light, all in gloss white, so it's all waterproof in here. You've got your shower curtain which runs on a surround on the top, so it wraps all the way around you, drops down into the shower tray, so you don't have to wipe everything down. But it's a great space, good use of, of, um, of the available size in here with the fold down sink. So that comes down. Obviously we've got the tap here with the hot and cold water that can be run uh, through the, the heating system and that will then just pour all the waste water back away as you, t as you tip it up. Um, but again, a nice practical use of space because we haven't got um, as much interior space in this van with the dinette as what we do with the rear lounge. We make use of this space and it's really clever. So it's multifunction. you've got that fold down sink, you have still got some storage up here for your toiletries and your toothbrushes, things like that. You've got a window in the bathroom here for a bit of natural daylight. You've got a roof vent here as well with the fly screen on there to let um, any water out if you're showering but also gives you a bit of natural daylight as well. And then of course the shower which has got a shower head there but you've got this uh, the shower head which will press and you can squeeze it and hold it um, if you want to do it or if you have it on running like you would as you shower at home it lifts um, but gives you a nice warm shower. The last thing to cover off in here is the fairly standard fitting for the motorhomes but it's got a Thetford cassette toilet um, so nice simple unit from Thetford flush button obviously you've got the flap to open and then it's got the cassette indicator on there but fitted to 99% of the motorhomes because it's well trusted and it's a great unit so again lovely space in this bathroom everyone who passes this seems to talk about the colours yeah. I think they've done a really good job here of outside to inside yeah it's it's a, it's a it's a well a well thought out colour scheme and something we we tend to 
we tend to go with quite often is the, the anthracite gloss um, with Veradi oak, which is the lighter colour of wood that we do. And then this silver upholstery does, does complement it really nicely. Um, obviously, it's quite a quite a vibrant and exciting outside colour and then you move in here and like I say it's, it's a nice warm ambient feeling it's it there's it's not very dark it's it's quite open feeling although it, it, it is a little bit tighter here than say the front lounge van that we offer because you've got these these nice light colours it opens the space up quite a lot as, as well as the use of the large roof lights that we do so when you look up in these vans you'll notice we've got three roof lights so one large hecky at the front one in the center over the kitchen and then we've got an enormous one again at the back over the bed so you get a lot of natural daylight it draws the space out inside the vans and when we've got the blinds undone and um, we've got them up on that side at the moment but when you've got the blinds undone you get a tremendous amount of natural light because these light uh, these windows that we use are clear so they're not a tinted glass so it doesn't darken the van down inside which we find makes them really popular so as I said in the bed, uh, as I said in the name, we've got a fixed bed here at the rear of this van. So full width of the van, it's a raised fixed bed, and it's the full width all the way side to side, and the same length as our rear lounge would be. So this is six foot three in overall length. Plenty long enough for myself at six feet on the number. It's a good, comfortable bed. Um, memory foam mattress, of course. Dimensions are suitable, so you could sleep side to side in this as well. You've got plenty of wardrobe um, here. You've also got all the over top cabinets that run round over the bed. So loads of storage space on that side and even more here. So we've got storage all the way around the van. Plenty of space for packing clothes in. You can pack all your belongings and things in there. And also, great thing about it is if you're laid in bed on the, on a night and you want to grab a phone out and pop it on charge, or if you want to grab your tablet, it's within arm's reach it when you're in bed on, on a night, which I think is really nice. The upholstery colours are sort of continued through here as well, so we've got the silver, um, silver tacking sets that are up here that just tie the theme through to the rest of the van. And obviously we've got blinds and fly screens on all these windows at the back, so if you want to have those slightly open to get a bit of a, a breeze in on a, on, a, on a summer's evening or anything like that, you can do. Or if you just want to have it completely blacked out, you can bring those right to the top. Have it halfway with the fly screen if you want, or set right to the top there and completely blacked out, um, depending on what your preference is and it'll go back the other way to have a full fly screen as well. So, last sort of thing on the interior is we've got this sort of pass through here, which goes into the big boot space. So if you pack a duffel bag or anything just through the door there, you can get straight into your storage space, which is one of the biggest features of this van. So we'll move around the back and I'll show you exactly how that garage works. So here at the back of the van, this is really what this van was designed for. But we've got the rear doors that open up and it gives us this absolutely enormous garage space at the back. Um, so there isn't much you wouldn't get in here. You can get bikes in with the, the wheels off if you've got an inflatable kayak or anything like that. That'll fit under there easily. Um, we've got the 12 volt coolers. Um, so if you want a bit more fridge or freezer space, you could slide one of those in there and have an additional 12 volt port fitted in the back. Um, and another feature of this fixed rear bed is if you are traveling with bicycles or something like that and you want to leave the wheels on and make the most use of this storage space, we can take this mattress fold it away, this leg then folds up into place and the whole bed frame can be slid forward and what that does is allows the full width of the van to be used and the full height so two bicycles could easily fit in there you might even get um, two adult bikes and two smaller children's bikes something like that if you're traveling with the kids or the grandkids um, or even if you if you are using this as more of a day-to-day -day vehicle because it's a panel van and it's not as big as some of the coach built. So if you're using it as a day-to-day -day van and you want to put some some larger things in there for a tip run or if you're getting some doors from being q or something like that you could always fit those in as well um so we've got fantastic space here at the back of the van but i mean it doesn't really 
you, you can't really tell on the video how big it is when if, if you, you you come and see this fan you'll obviously get an appreciation for how enormous this space is but uh, like I say it's the full height of the van at the back and you can tell here it's more than enough for me to stand in and it's almost double again um, to fill up so that bed frame will then just slide back out the leg drops down and the bed makes up and if you were travelling if you were travelling on your own or anything like that as well and you had the bike sit, sat in the back even with this mattress up like so you could still use the bed as a side to side bed at the front so if you're travelling on your own with a bike in or anything like that that's always an option as well but it's a, it's a great space obviously we've got the the light in the boot there as well so you can see what you're doing and um, that's just a touch sensitive strip light um, but an, an enormous amount of space you really would struggle to fill that I think even if you're, you're on the most outdoors of, <laughs> of holidays it's a it's a massive massive space is that and of course what you won't have seen from the other side is you've got the little Avtex TV here so that's paired with the sound bar um, so when you're in bed of an evening if you want to pop up a DVD on if you want to go on the digital TV which is uh, allowed by the aerial that we've got on the roof you can watch a movie you can watch your, your favorite favorite TV on there um, while you're in bed on a night but uh, it's, a, it's a great great space but for the size of this van there's very few that you tend to find that tick all those boxes so it's a 6.3 meter package it's got four traveling seats and it's got an enormous fixed bed with a garage those those are f things that you won't generally find on a vehicle of this size so if you're looking i think this van ideally is suited to somebody who's quite outdoorsy likes to travel with the the hiking gear with the mountain bikes with um road bikes a, a kayak something like that you know what i mean make use of all that space you've got somewhere to crash on an evening really comfortable big bed you've got some living space so if it's a rainy day and you don't want to be outside you can you can really take that dinette and use that as a living space um i think i think it'd be perfect for somebody like that it, or even a couple that will occasionally take grandchildren and things like that you can make use of a thing something called a kabunk if you look at our youtube we've done a little bit of a review on that before but that makes it in this van into a two-birth van with two children's births essentially so great option really nice van